Welcome back, guys, to Persona 5 Royal. Well, last episode, the Shujin Festival continued with Akechi's panel as Makoto tried to extract information from him with dangerous questions, nearly leading to the detective telling the school who he suspected to be the Phantom Thieves before we met with him in private. There, he presented his evidence to show he did know who we were before forcing us to take a deal, to cooperate with him to find out the truth of the mental shutdown killings, and after that, disband the thieves, leaving us to think it over as the remainder of the festival played out. We now return to Leblanc with Futaba. We're home! Sojiro? I was cleaning up and found this. <gasps> This is a calling card, right? I read about it online, too. Y you went into my room without my permission? I'll apologize as much as you want later. So, what is this? That's... Is it something to get flustered over? I knew it. This isn't just some game you're playing. Why aren't you saying anything? Why did you keep it? I mean, it was memorable. Explain. Explain. Can't tell me? Explain. Hey, if this keeps up, Futaba's... I'll explain everything. <laughs> I'm talking to Futaba here, you know. I'll get right to the point. Is this a real one? Did they... Trigger a change of heart in you? <laughs> How about it? Ever since Mom died, I... There was n no exit. I was trapped in, in a labyrinth of my heart. I knew I had to leave it, but I, I couldn't do it by myself. Futaba... Here, sit down. I can at least listen to what you have to say. The Phantom Thieves saved me. They stole my messed up heart. It's the same as Mom's research. They changed my cognition. Seriously? <sighs> Okaba's research about altering one's cognition. I wondered about it myself, too, but still. When did you notice? <laughs> when she said she was going to go to the beach out of nowhere, and even the doctors had thrown in the towel. <laughs> At first, I just chalked it up as other kids being a better support for you than any adult. But as I kept watching the tabloid shows here day in and day out, a thought crossed my mind. I thought your case kind of seemed similar to what these phantom thieves were doing. Wow. I'm still your guardian, you know. I'd never overlook such a drastic change in your behavior. So, Jiro. But to think that Wakaba's research and the phantom thieves changing hearts were about the same thing. <sighs> Back in the day, I used to be a government official. My job was to be the bridge between the country and the lab that Wakaba worked at. It's around that time that I got to know her. She said something odd when we were out drinking, that one of these days, she might die a bizarre death. Who wouldn't take that as a joke? I just laughed it off. But it happened exactly as she said. If anything were to happen to you, I'd feel like I let her down. There's something I want to ask you. Judging from your attitude, you knew about this calling card, didn't you? You should have known that Futaba had a change of heart through the Phantom Thieves as well. Is there a connection between you and them? The first incident of a change of heart was a teacher at your school. The kid who brought that painting here was a pupil of that artist who had a change of heart, wasn't he? And then, there's Futaba. You always seem to be linked to these incidents somehow. Got anything to say? Hmm. Sorry for keeping quiet. 
You know what people call them? Criminals. Why did you introduce such dangerous people to Futaba? That's not true! I asked them! That's why he saved me! He stole my heart! Asked? Stole? Uh, um... Wait, are you saying that he's the one who changed your heart? He doesn't just deal with the Phantom Thieves, he's actually one of them? <laughs> You're pulling my leg, aren't you? Uh... Leader! <laughs> Kinda. <laughs> I'm a phantom thief. <laughs> are you serious? You really are a phantom thief? Oh, for crying out loud. Sojiro! So, basically, I've been sheltering a phantom thief for the last six months. And on top of that, Futaba's involved too. What the hell? I... I want to find the culprit who killed my mom. Wait, killed? She was killed. I... remember it now. Stop this nonsense! Why won't you believe me? Are you the same as everyone else? Didn't you know already? The way mom died wasn't normal! Didn't you notice that her research was stolen by someone? Sojiro! When she passed away, I did think it was odd. It was awfully fishy. But what could I do? All I was able to do was run from it all. Run away, hide, and end up here as some old guy running a cafe. To be frank, I took you in for my own good. Like it'd somehow make up for what I'd done. It's basically my fault that you got burdened with all this crap. It's not your fault, Sojiro. I acted all big, lectured, even yelled at you kids. And I end up getting consoled by her. God, real pathetic, aren't I? Ah, uh, that's not true. I mean, the one who killed Mom's the one at fault. <sighs> I see. Don't worry. Even if you are the real Phantom Thieves, I have no intention of reporting or kicking you out. <laughs> I mean, who would believe such a story? <laughs> Unless they catch you red-handed, it's impossible to explain that you're the Phantom Thieves. <laughs> Let me just say one thing, though. Immediately back out of a fight that you can't win. What do you mean? <laughs> Don't you get it? If by chance you pissed off the same guys that killed Wakaba, then they're not someone that kids like you can deal with. Listen to reason, all right? We're done talking about this. Come on, time to eat. All that yelling's gotten me hungry. Whew. If he turned us in, that would have jeopardized our operation. Still, we should tell the others about what just happened. Ugh, I'm tired. What? He knows everything? You gotta be fucking kidding! <laughs> Wait, you okay? Did he report you or anything? We likely wouldn't be receiving these messages if Olives was not okay. I had a feeling the boss was no ordinary man. But he didn't recommend you turn yourself in, did he? I think in that case we can consider him a new ally. I'm more curious about what he mentioned to you. I mean how our enemy might be the same people who targeted Futaba's mother. Yes, she was killed by a mental shutdown, the same method used by the culprit we pursue now. Wait a second though, didn't you say Boss had to run from it all? Does that mean someone was trying to stop the news from getting out? Who could do that? Who do you think the culprit could be? Well, he was, so you know... I think you're letting your imagination run wild a bit, but it would make sense. Wait a sec, if you're right, then wouldn't the police be working for him too? That's not impossible. This is getting too big for me to even think about. Can we really win this? We're gonna win, no matter what. <sighs> Guess the chief had an inkling after all. Hey. Hey, another box came for you. <laughs> 
Don't, don't look in these boxes. Phantom Thief goods. Well, so much has happened. The school festival and Akechi, etc. Uh, we get to decide on Akechi joining. I didn't like in the chat being saying, like, I failed during that bit. I didn't know there was something to fail. I thought that was the way the story was progressing anyway. Akechi had basically came up with some evidence. Didn't seem much reason to resist at that point in time. Like, it was like, ah! Uh. It's like, well, we know it's going to lead to that point from here anyway. I mean, we already know from our perspective as a player that he kind of did see us. So it doesn't not make sense that he had uh, evidence. But then, of course, that comes with a lot of things after. He entered, did he? Oh, sure. Got a gun pointed at him. Doesn't have any. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. <sighs> sure, 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 sure. But that fade had me shook. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that fade. That fade was nasty. That's what had me go, huh? Everything else was kind of what I expected to progress, but that fade, that fade alone, that fade could be absolutely mean nothing. But because it was different from the rest of the stuff, it's got me shook. <laughs> it could just be like, oh, we'll put a fade here for, dr for drama. I have no clue what that fade even was. Futaba seemed down. It's so leader, you know what you should do, right? Oh, I can only talk to Futaba. Hey, hey. Futaba looks depressed. You should go talk to her. <laughs> yeah, well, we we're getting found out by people. Confidants are plenty. I was kind of wondering, like, why the a lot of the adults that we get to the max with, or a lot of the people that we do that outside the group, kind of figure us out as a fan of you. And so Jura said, like, like I helped with the other thing, I guess, that request. But not necessarily straight up that. And it's because it's a major story segment. It makes sense to be a major story segment. It makes sense that he's angry as well, because it's just like lying to him. He understands, obviously, that there's a lot of good that's come from this through Futaba, etc. But a lot of stuff was done behind his back, under his nose. So of course he's going to be angry, because he'd be angry at himself for not noticing it sooner. And then if he understands the actual scope of things, which he obviously does because of how why he had to like get out and come work here, he'd have a large amount of fear as well. Let's be a guest sub, thank you very much. But yes, um Everything's a bit messy right now. We wanted to probe Akechi, and of course he's going to get control, because if he doesn't want to straight join every... It's just really weird how everyone's just like, yeah, I'll join up with you so far, except for, like, Kasumi. Everyone being amicable with us when they find out isn't going to happen. Like, Haru being amicable with us after her dad's death that way is weird. <laughs> So it had to be that someone was going to hold it over us in the end. And we were always going to be found out at some point. And I mean, the pictures kind of really don't help. <laughs> it's the fact that evidence was procured. <laughs> Get him. Sorry. It's my fault. All this happened because I kept the calling card. <sighs> it's so late already. Uh, is Sojira still awake? This is kind of awkward. You can sleep on the sofa. No, you can sleep on the bed. I'll sleep on the sofa. Go home or he'll worry. I feel like I should offer her to stay here. She needs security by the look of it. Hey, wait! Wait, shouldn't you sleep on the sofa so the Futaba can go ahead and sleep on the bed? Well, I we said that. <laughs> I'm gonna go home. Night. Looks like we managed to avoid the worst possible situation. A little bit. So much stuff happened today. I can't help but feel exhausted. Yeah, yep. stuff has gone on. I should stuff has somewhere. definitely progressed. Last time I saved with 15 for the dev. It's been a bit since then, then. Ooh. I can only go to bed. Well, then. Let's call it a day and go to bed. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get to bed after all this.
That concludes the speech given by Representative Masayoshi Shido, who may be forming a new party. <sighs> we now resume our coverage of the Phantom Thieves, the suspects for Mr. Okumura's death and others. The police have designated the Phantom Thieves as the country's most wanted fugitives and have decided to reward anyone with information leading to the capture of the Phantom Thieves. Look. Those who provide information will be offered a reward of 30 million yen. And considering the high amount, it shows how extraordinary the situation has become. Reward money will be supplied by the police and the families of the victims. Further, if I report you to the police and they arrest you, I supposedly get 30 million yen for it. Wow. That's insane. I hope you understand the situation you're in. Even people who didn't have an interest before will be on the lookout for the Phantom Thieves. And it'll happen every day, even at school. Why did this happen? Hmm. I just, I'm sorry, I guess. This isn't about me. Well, how do I put this? I'm sorry I didn't realize it. It's also my responsibility that this happened. All I can do now is give you shelter. Just don't become desperate and do something reckless, all right? Believe in me? <laughs> I won't sell you out. As long as you're here, there's nothing to worry about. I feel bad about what we've done to the chief. I'm responsible too. Did you see that reward? <laughs> Perhaps we put too much pressure on them. With this, the Phantom Thieves have become public enemy number one. <laughs> exactly. That will be when their curtain falls. Hey, <laughs> great! Can't believe how big the bounty is. We should look for the Phantom Thieves ourselves. Akechi suggested they go to the school, right? Yeah, but let's not. There's been too many mental shutdowns as it is. It'll probably be the end of us if we start sniffing around now. 30 million yen. Man, just let me dream a little. How much is that again? How much is 30 million yen and pounds sterling, guys? Someone will give the answer. Yo, you see the news? I'd brace myself for this possibility. Actually, having a wanted notice out for us feels kind of weird. I'm not sure we're going to get away this time. Our backs are truly against the wall now. Discussing it here won't do us any good, though. Let's talk more in person. We're wanted now. And the reward's 30 million yen? What is this, a comic book? <laughs> it feels so unrealistic, I can't help but laugh. We are finally being treated as actual criminals. I'm positive now. Remember all of those what-ifs I mentioned before? All of this was truly set up. How President Okumura ranked first, the fad before that, even Mejed. It was all to make the Phantom Thieves famous. On top of that, we were lured to target Okumura. Yeah, the enemy likely planned to lay the blame on us from the start, after we gained popularity. Then what about everything we've done until now? Are the people whose hearts we changed and thought were corrupt actually not? No. Because of Yusuke and I, the Matarame and Kanashiro cases were coincidental. Wasn't that the case with Kamashita too? Considering what happened with the rankings, only the previous target would have been used to lure us. What a cheap trick to use. Cheap? It's nothing of the sort. There's the fake Medjad and the site's altercation. They might have even engineered the fat around us. So much time and effort has been put into this. President Okumura probably wasn't their only target. Perhaps they intend to place all blame of past and future psychotic breakdowns on our group. That's why I said we shouldn't jump into things so carelessly. What, so this is my fault? Even you agreed to it in the end. And there was that thing with Haru at the time. How are we supposed to ignore that, huh? I'm sorry. This was all because I one-sidedly decided that my father was a criminal. All I could think about was my fiancé. 
If I had only been able to cope with it more calmly... Haru... It's not Haru's fault. I should have spoken up too when Principal Kabayakawa died. Damn it! This is bullshit! God! Fuck! Ah! Ryuji! Taking out your frustration on things doesn't help anyone! Hey... What do you think? Why did we lose? What did we do wrong? We haven't lost yet? We just have an enemy. I mean, they simply baited us. They had the cars to begin with. They were playing around with the stuff before we were. We entered their playground and they have resources and understanding far surpassing us. We were punching up. We were underdogs. <laughs> But now we know we're on a playing field. Can't start fighting something until you know what your foe is. It's probably because we weren't acting like ourselves. Agreed. At the time, we only cared about the opinion of the general public. Yeah, that really is it. I was so caught up in making a name for ourselves. I'm such an idiot! I became a phantom thief because I hated those same kinds of adults! To think we had begun clinging onto fame and a place to belong that our eyes had become clouded. We were meant to be the righteous phantom thieves, but we lost sight of our original cause. I'm so irritated with myself. Makoto... Damn it! I know that we've been set up, and that I was a complete idiot too, but still... It's so damn frustrating! Of course I want to do something about this! Yeah. We'll be in deep water at this rate. However, we have no idea who we're up against. And whether they're an individual or an organization. Furthermore, they must be in a position of power. Or have powerful backers if they can go so far. Are we really a match for this? Should we... end this now? I mean, things might get worse for everyone. Hey, what should we do? We haven't lost yet. <laughs> yeah, running away with our tails between our legs is exactly what they want. We'd be dumping everything we stand for just to save our own asses. I see. Take back what I just said. I can't let it end like this. Absolutely not like this. Looks like we're settled on what we want to do. All that's left is how we go about it. Yeah. Hey, uh, it's me. Um, about me yelling earlier, being framed and the added bounty, it all felt like such bullshit. I lost it. I'm sorry. I do mind, actually. I mind greatly. Like, there's people literally downstairs, maybe in the store, so Jira can hear. <laughs> I minded actually really greatly when he started throwing that tantrum. It was really irritating me. It's like time, place. Both of them are not here. I know how you feel, but man, we need to take you to anger management, possibly, Ryuji. <laughs> you too? It is confusing. We're wanted criminals now. Maybe I haven't changed at all since that time we went up against Kamoshida. I wanted to be a phantom thief because I thought even someone like me could be a hero. It made me so happy to be depended on. Guess it all went straight to my head. I thought I could do anything if it was for justice, but that'd make me no different from our targets. I called them shitbags, but I must be the shittiest of shitbags. I can't even joke about it. You can still change, though. <laughs> You're right. I can start by changing who I am now. Thanks. I feel like I can think straight now. Oh, I scared Haru and Futaba, didn't I? I'll have to apologize to them soon. See ya.
a message from a cat chicken. <laughs> he wants us to gather at LeBlanc tomorrow after school. Who does he think he is trying to boss us around like that? Tomorrow? That's sudden. This is directly after the reward announcement. There must be a calculated reason for this too. We'll be okay, right? Well, we'll manage. Yeah, we're gonna overcome this together. Regardless, I don't want anyone disturbing our pace anymore. Let's go about this calmly. Well, see you all tomorrow. We've reached a crucial moment. There's no point fretting about it now, though. Let's just stay calm and wait for tomorrow. Okay. Can't let things end here. We need to figure out who's behind everything. It's that easy, is it? <sighs> Let's check shady commodities to see what we can buy now. You have the door of possibilities that no one people can only dream of. Okay, we can buy the black gorgatana now. Yes, yes. We can order a Ouija board here. Medium chance of cursed insta kills to all foes. A spirit camera with ghastly well, a camera that destroys those who are afraid. Everything else has got. Everything new appears at the top. A Ouija board. I don't even try to use the instant kills, but I'll buy it on the basis that it seems we need to spend X amount of money. How much do you think I spent so far? 83, 500 yen. Oh, I need to probably pass 100,000. Found a way to lose my money quick, haven't I? Sorry, I should have realized this sooner. Today's feature is about efforts being carried out to reveal the identities of the Phantom Thieves. We consulted a profiling expert for his analysis. He determined that they're either in their 20s to 30s or in their 40s to 50s. Good. Man. That's so far off the mark. Were they even trying? It might be misinformation. But maybe. Probably not. It doesn't make sense for our kids to be the ones doing this. Maybe I should make that special curry today, actually. I don't think I've made curry before. Ah. <sighs> The funny thing is, is like the, the thieves are in completely juxtaposition to my own position throughout the whole of this, where I've noticed the fame going up and going down and going, oh, if you know what I mean. But that kind of stuff truly scares me the whole time. I hate the public. <laughs> just say, I don't think any organization. Oh, it's just scary. Man, it's scary. Looks like the chief made curry. I doubt there are any leftover ingredients, though. How oh, can I not make curry today? Hmm. How do I make curry? Can I make curry? Hmm. So we're out of curry ingredients. Let's try making some another day. Oh, what? I wanted to make some curry. Don't know what to make curry. Curry making. Oh. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't want to play Train of Life. It sucks. Let's play Featherman Seeker. Oh yeah. Check the manual and it says the story in this game is different from the original TV show. Something about trying to become the sixth Phoenix Ranger. I don't know much about the TV series, but this looks like a game you can really sink your teeth into. Let's become a Phoenix Ranger. <laughs> well then. By the way, haven't you read that secret technique book? It makes the input commands less difficult, which makes the game easier, right? Play it normally. Oh, you fired up. All right, go for it. As the threat of doom draws near, a new power spreads its wings. Whoa. Oh, they really know how to get you pumped up, do they now? Is this a lab? That person in front of the computer looks like a scientist. You're awake already. That's a promising sign. My name is, well, let's just call me Osagiri. I've been put in charge of your training. Welcome to my space laboratory. You're the strongest fighter that I've created yet. We will now commence your training. Endure it and you will acquire power equaling that of the Phoenix Rangers. This today is your first day, we'll use the simulator. Don't worry about passing or failing, just show me what you can do. I see. Training, huh? I guess you can't become a hero if you don't put in the effort. Let's begin with a warm-up. Try controlling your strength as instructed. First, remember the commands as displayed on the screen. Then enter the commands accurately within the time limit. Bear triangle XO. Impressive, you exhibit flawless control. Let's see how you do with the next challenge. 
So from the top to the thingy. Incredible, your strength is far greater than I initially projected. This next challenge will be the last. Battle simulator start. Oh, the scenery changed. Oh, is this a waste disposal for facility? You'll be facing an aberrant from Xylam, the Infinibug army planning to take over Earth. Oh yeah, that. His name is Scrapeternum? Scrapeternum? A powerful aberrant born of a parasite that fed on scrap metal. Oh yeah, probably scrap then. Well, I know you can defeat it. I have faith in you. Okay. So this training is preparing us for real combat. All right, let's get the aberrant. <laughs> Clangity clang, I'm Scrapeternum, the scrap metal eating aberrant, clang. There's too much people on Earth, Clang. I'm gonna squash them flat to make it a more comfortable place to live, Clang. <sighs> this guy's pretty chipper about being a threat to the planet's safety, huh? Who dare stand in my way, Clang? I'll flatten you out, Clang. Now then. Here he comes. Get your controller ready. Take this, compression press. Right, left, right, left, triangle, circle. How could this cheeky little brat dodge my attack? Clang it! Oh! This is our chance! Wind punch! Oh, these are hard! <laughs> How am I supposed to remember this stuff? I can't believe I lost glory to Zyla! Clang! <laughs> oh yeah! A big win! Hey, we're back in the laboratory! Simulation is complete. Now you know what fighting an aberrant is like. Now on you will be known as Grey Pigeon. Oh. Continue your training by going on solo missions. You will meet the Feathermen only when you gain sufficient strength. You could become the sixth Featherman. You may even surpass them. Oh, I'm happy being Grey Pigeon. No one be able to defeat you. No one. Why well, you must be tired. Yeah, take this nap capsule and get some rest. I'm flying around and pulling people's cars. It'd be amazing. We've finished training, so what do you think? Can you become a Phoenix Ranger? That game was stimulating to the brain. It must have buffed up your knowledge. <laughs> it was so stimulating to my brain. Well then. I'm sure you're tired after how it, into it you were getting. Let's stop here for today, okay? No, no, I keep going, Chief. of the ruling party, isn't he? I heard they're splitting up to form a new party, so an election might come before the year's end. I'm gonna vote this time for sure. This man has my support. You haven't voted until now? That's problematic as a member of society, you know. Politics just never interested me before, but this politician seems pretty amazing. He's passionate and thinks of the future. I mean, someone like that should be prime minister. I'm definitely voting for him. Well, I suppose that makes sense, since the other politician seems so unreliable. I've looked at Todoria's policies, though. Track record, anything like that. Just he talked good. When you say